Happy Monday. Today is Monday, May 8th. On today's show, we have an interview with our principal, Mr. 7-inch, with a few reminders. And we also have an interview with Pat Collins to talk about some important sports reminders. This and more, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is TJ. And I'm Andrew. Happy Tulip Time Week and co big congratulations to the cast members of Oliver Jr. We have so many exciting things coming up for the end of the year. As you heard in the announcements, we are celebrating Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month and having a corn drive for that. All proceeds will be donated to the Foundation of Flipping for Fed team in honor of Mrs. Dieter's daughter, Finley. We also have another amazing race coming up. Here is Mr. Stevenage to learn more about these events. Hi, my name is Lilia, and today I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Stefanich about finishing the year strong. What do you want to say to people who help with the showcase? It's a great question. Um, the first thing I would want to say is th thanks so much for helping out. One of the things that we're working really hard on at Harbor Lights is to make sure that in almost everything we do, we're involving students. I really believe that our job as teachers and educators is to create an environment where students feel like this school is their school. And so when we're welcoming in a bunch of incoming fifth graders and we have over a hundred of our current students helping and volunteering, I think it just really showcases the type of school we are and the type of student body we have. So I'd want to say thanks. Thanks for coming and volunteering and helping out. And hopefully you had as much fun as I did. What were some of your favorite memories from the school year? I have a lot of great memories. This is a year I feel like I'm going to remember always as it was my first year back at Harbor Lights, my first year being the principal here. Um, you know, some of the things that come to mind right away are the things that we've done with our unified sports team and with our links. So I think the unified basketball games that I've been able to attend, I think the student versus staff basketball game right before spring break was a lot of fun. I've also really enjoyed getting out to kids sporting events and kids music events concerts so I think seeing kids outside of the classroom shine whether it's on the basketball court or on the soccer field or you know in the concert hall has been a lot of fun for me I think one of my other favorite memories happened just recently we have had two really nice days outside and we brought all the yard games out into the courtyard and just to kind of get to be out there and play with kids and toss the beanbag around or play some connect four has been a lot of fun and refreshing as we're getting into the home stretch here. What are some of the fun end of year activities that are coming up? Our um, team here is working on a second part for the amazing race. So if you remember back to the beginning of the year, we did an amazing race competition in homeroom. So we're working on doing part two of that. We also have a really good idea for a color run here right at school and on campus. And then obviously saying goodbye to our eighth graders. So we're starting to plan for the eighth grade dance. And on the last day of school, we will have eighth grade breakfast and award ceremony and kind of honoring those eighth graders for their work over the last three years and um, saying goodbye to them. So we have a lot of fun stuff planned. The other thing that we're starting to do at this time of year already is starting to plan for next year and making sure that we're reflecting on where we've had success this school year and where we can make some things better and always kind of keeping in mind how can we make school more engaging, more fun, more enjoyable for our students. What are some of the tips you have for the students to finish the year strong? I think there are a lot of ways you can finish the year strong. Um, when I think about tips, I think about something kind of simple, and it's just make sure you're winning every day. And so by winning every day at school, that means coming to school, being thankful that you're here. Summer's coming up, and although we all need summer break, one of the things that naturally happens in summer is we step away from school, and sometimes that means we can step away from friendships and some of our relationships with the adults in the building. So by winning every day, just coming to school with an attitude of, I get to be here today, I get to hang out with my friends, I get to learn something new, and just not taking for granted the time that we have left. I think the other thing that's really important as we enter the end of the school year is continue to like stay up on your grades and so as middle schoolers you have a really great opportunity to get on infant campus and check those grades daily but when you're checking those grades also connecting with your teachers if you see something missing in your grades or in your grade book or there's a score in there that you don't quite understand going and having that conversation with teachers and advocating for yourself and your learning is really important. I think it's a really good way to end the year and it shows some of the maturity and growth that kids make over the course of a school year. Do you have anything else to add? 
Yeah, I think the last thing I would want to add is just say thanks to all the students and the teachers who have welcomed me here at Harbor Lights. Moving into the building kind of at the middle of the year, at the beginning part of the year, was a challenge for, I think, everyone when Mr. Bartels left. But I have just been so thankful to be here. This is where I really want to be and where I want to work for the next 10 or 15 years and continue to do awesome things with the staff and with the students here. So I guess I just want to add Thanks. Thanks for letting me be here. Thanks for letting me kind of be myself. And it's been awesome getting to know everyone. Thanks, Mr. Stephens, for answering our questions. And thanks, Jessica, for taping this interview. We want to have fun at the end of the year, so let's make sure we show that Panther pride and make good choices. This week is the official Teacher Appreciation Week. We want to thank our teachers that worked so hard to help the students of Harbor Lights. Thank you. Thanks for your patience and determination. Thanks for all that you do. And please know that you are very much appreciated. Now for this week, gentlemen. Hi, I'm Carlito. And I'm Carter. Now it is time to order your books. If you did not order one with your pictures in the fall. Order forms are in the main office. The cost is $11. If you want a yearbook, you need to order and pay it before May 19th. The final meeting for NJHS is May 17th during lunch. Seventh graders, are you interested in going on the eighth grade trip to Washington, D.C.? There is a meeting May 16th in the Mac Bay cafeteria on May 16th at 7 p.m. The trip is March 15 to 17. The signups are due June 1. If you are considering the trip, please attend the meeting on the 16th. Next week, we share an interview with some of the students that went on this year's trip. Now back to the anchor. Due to our half day Thursday for tulip time, we will be having a half day hat day with a dollar donation going to the kids' food basket. Also, a reminder to eighth graders: if you are interested in being a part of students in it, uh, elections are coming up soon. Read the email you receive for more information. Now over to sports. Thanks. I'm Nyla. I'm Maya. Here are this week's games. Boys and girls track and field have a meet Tuesday at home against Pinewood. For boys tennis, the white team has a match Monday against Holland Christian and Tuesday against Grand Haven, both are away. The black team challenges Granville at home on Tuesday. For girls soccer, Monday they play Zealand away and home Tuesday against Cityside. If you are planning on playing a school sport next year, you need to have a current physical on file. The easiest way to do this is to come to free physical night. Here's an interview with Mr. Collins. He is the varsity football coach and is director of family and student engagement. He's here to tell you more about free physical night and about the summer sports camp. My name is Gio and I'm here to give you summer sports info with Coach Collins. When is free physical night and where is it? First of all, thanks for having me, Gio, and go Panthers. Um, free physical night. Every year, West Ottawa will host a free physical night. This year, instead of it being at a medical facility, it's actually being hosted at North High School. It's going to be North High School on May 17th from 5 to 8 p.m. It's a great opportunity just to get your physical done so you're set for sports for the following year. How can others stay fit during the offseason? So I don't believe in an off season. I believe that all seasons are the on season. So we want kids in multiple sports, obviously play as many sports as you can and you have interest in. But aside from that, you should be really training all year, whether you're in season or out of season. And where that really begins is with strength and conditioning coach Frank Lurchin. Uh, coach Lurchin has uh, started a new program for West Ottawa and through our coaching staffs and uh, Coach Lurchin, we have plenty of opportunities to strength train and do uh, physical activity to stay fit, uh, speed and conditioning as well. And so check your calendars, check the Wool Panthers website, and you should be able to find not only summer programming for staying fit, but also uh, during the school year as well. What sports camps are there? So sports camps obviously are way too big for me to run through right now, and I probably don't know them by heart, but I will say that Every program in the district offers sports camps, at least most of them. And the way we function with sports camps is we put everything up on wolfpanthers.com. So if parents and uh, participants join, get on wolfpanthers.com on the website, they can see all the sport offerings, um, see the price, see what t when they run, things like that. And uh, it's a great opportunity to get plugged in. Why would you recommend students to do sports camps? So summer sports camps specifically are awesome because it's summer. I mean, much of the stress of the school year going on when students have classes and all that stuff, it's hard for them to really jump into an activity or a sport because they're unsure and they got a lot going on. Summer is a great opportunity for our students, especially new eighth graders, let's say, going to the high school. They want to go to those sports camps to meet coaches, create friendships, find out if this is something of interest to them that they may want to do this sport. Um, and really for younger kids, it's just an opportunity to find out what you love to do. 
And so summer, uh, it's carefree time, not a lot of stress, have some fun with friends, go to camps, get better at your sport, plus stay fit and um, find out what you love. Since you are also the varsity football coach, what can we look forward to? Well, Gio, there's a lot to look forward to in football, so I'm excited about this year. I've been here almost two years. It feels like longer than that, but it, we've really only had one offseason. This is our second offseason that's coming around the corner right now. So we're excited for fall, but we got more prep to do. And then from there, you're going to get an array of things from us in the May, if you come to that, to know what's going on in summer which is all kinds of activities in summer for football, which is all prep for Friday night lights. Let's just be serious because it's all about Friday night lights. And you guys have seen that hopefully already, that stadium, the best stadium in the state of Michigan light up at night on a Friday with the fans going crazy is just something special. So we're looking forward to that. And we can't wait to see some football guys. Thank you, Coach Collins, for letting us interview you. And thank you, Roman, for recording. Mark and calendar from May 17th from 5 to 7.30 at the North High School to get your free physical. They uploaded to your final forms for you so you'll be, able, be all set for participating in sports this year. Have a great tool time and good luck students for marching in the plate. Praise. Don't forget to be the best Panther you can be and make good choices and always go to work!